welcome to Hands on Science, where if you ever just need something to do, this is the place to be. This is Carl. And this is Mel. Mel, are you ready for something to do today? I am ready to do something today, and I did ask my mom for permission, so awesome. we're good to go. Definitely going to need some adult help with this. Okay. I have this fancy looking can, and Mel, I'm going to roll it to you. You are. If you can catch it and keep it from falling off the table there. Okay, I'll stop it. Stop. Hey. It didn't reach my hand. It didn't. It came back to me. It did. So this is our comeback can. Comeback can. Yep, let's okay. see if we can do that one more time. Comeback can. I'm just giving it a gentle Stop. push. Don't go off the table. Oh. And then it comes back to there me. It went. So we're going to take this one apart and we're going to kind of see what's on the inside okay. and see how it works and then we're going to put it back together. All right. So this is a quart paint can. Okay. Um, if you have an empty one at your house, go ahead and ask permission to use it for an activity. You can absolutely recycle these or you can find an empty one like this at your hardware store in their paint department. Got it. The other thing we've got is a couple paper clips. One on the top, one on the bottom. We've got some rubber bands. Oh. And on the inside here, we've got some very large hex nuts. Big and ones. that's the magic. That's how this works. So Mel, I think you have some scissors over there. I sure do. I'm going to hold up this rubber band. If you can go ahead and just cut it. Get a snip. Yep. There we Give go. Give it a snip. We're going to take this rubber band off this paper clip. We're going to reuse our paper clip. Okay. Here you go. There's one. We've got our very large hex nuts here. Oh, Mel, I'm going to need you to snip oh, me one more time. Went. Okay. Yep. One more good snip. There we go. Okay. And then if you can take that rubber I band sure off can. that paper clip, I'll take this rubber band off of these hex nuts and we will reuse all of our parts. Okay. We try to recycle where we can. That makes good sense. Yep. We always okay. recycle. So the first thing that we've got, I've got some extra rubber bands here. Okay. I'm going to give you two of those. And you'll see that those two rubber bands, they're kind of connected. Right. I know. So Mel's that. are connected. I'm going to show you real quickly how to connect them. I'm taking one rubber band putting it through a second rubber band, and then the first rubber band, putting one end through the other end, oops, and then I'm just pulling it real Voila. tight there so that go. they're connected. Oh, okay. okay. So now you're going. To, we're going to use your rubber band, Mel. Okay. So, I'm going so to yep, through. put your rubber your rubber band through those two hex nuts, okay. and you're going to tie it just one time real tight and give it a good stretch. And you want your hex nuts in the middle of your rubber band, so kind of where this knot is okay. where we connected them to the middle. Just yeah, like you want them in the middle if, if, or as close to the middle as possible. Okay. Yep. So give it one good tie, okay. just an overhand tie. Okay. And then just give it a good stretch. Make sure that knot is, is going to stay. Yeah, that'll be fine. Cause what we're going to do is we're going to take this end. Okay. Now, and I'm going to push it through the bottom hole of this can. It? And you're just going to grab it. So this is a part where you definitely might need some uh, oh, help. Oh, there it is. And also to make that hole in the can. So okay. now clip one of your paper clips on there. Okay. So just going to put it through the paper yep. clip? Yep. Just put it through. Just like that? Just like that. Yep. That'll work. Okay. So all that's going to do is keep it tight against the, the bottom of the can. Okay. And I'm going to use my powers of dexterity to, Shall I hold on to take this one. one. Okay. And we're going to do the exact same thing. Okay. And poke it through the other With hole. the top. Yep. And then you're going to grab it and you are okay. going to put that paper clip on there. Oh, we got it. We got it. Okay. So put your paper clip on. I'm going to hold it from the back. Okay. Just in case. Okay. So just put the paper clip through. Yep. Same thing like you did on the bottom. Okay. All right. So this lid will actually, um, get pushed down in to the can. Um, but just so that we can take it apart when we want to, we're going to go ahead and leave it. Okay. Now, the last step is to pull up your rubber band. You can do this on both sides. We're just going to do it on one side for now. And Mel, if you can hold that can, make sure it doesn't fly away from me. Okay. I'm going to tie an overhand knot in this rubber band. Okay. And what that's going to do is it's just going to create a little more tension on the inside of the can. Again, this is where you might need some adult help. It's kind of like tying a balloon. Uh -huh. um, it sounds like, like it's easy to do, not. but sometimes it's a little cumbersome. Okay. okay. So once we have that, if you want, you can do it on the bottom. Uh, we're just going to leave the bottom for now since we've tied a nice big loop on the top. Now we're going to try it out. Okay. I'll stop it. Okay. Push it. Da. 
Oh, and it comes it right back. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Super, super simple. Um, I believe that why this works is because of those hex nuts on the inside. It helps to kind of like hold mm. the rubber bands. Right. Hold it in down. In place against the sides of the can. And then when the can rolls forward, it twists up the rubber bands. And then once it kind of like hits its critical point, the rubber bands want to untwist while those hex nuts are still kind of holding it down. Okay. Anyway, that's why I think it works. If you guys know better, you have another idea of why this comeback can works, please leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it thumbs, thumbs up. up. You can find this activity and so much more at midnightscienceclub.com. We'll see you next time, guys.